Hello there, this is We on Wild is One. We're glad you're watching. Thank you for joining us at this hour. I'm Eric Kondraka. Let's start with the headlines. Unnamed medical officials say body of Hezbollah leader Syed Hassan Nasrallah recovered intact from the site of the Israeli air attack on Beirut's southern suburbs. Claims that uh, the cause of death appears to be blunt trauma from the impact of the blast. At the emergency cabinet session, Lebanon's uh, officials say diplomatic efforts for a ceasefire with Israel are currently underway. Iran's Foreign Minister Abbas Arachi says killing in Lebanon of a senior revolutionary guard general in an Israeli strike alongside Hezbollah chief Hassan Nasrallah will not go unanswered. Russia says amendments to its nuclear doctrine are about to be formalized. President Putin has warned new rules will allow Russia to use nuclear arms if struck with conventional missiles. It will also consider any assault supported by a nuclear power to be a joint attack. Thirteen people injured in Russian air attack on Ukraine's Zaporizhia. Ten private houses damaged and one destroyed as a result of the attack. And Chancellor Karl Nihama casts his ballot in Austria to elect a new parliament. The far-right Freedom Party is aiming for its first general election win. Economic worries and immigration are the big issues. For all the latest news, download the Wii on app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.